good morning students take the page number 27 so here skill time 3 is creating a pivot table okay creating a pivot table so here aditi wants to filter the written gift okay aditi wants to filter the written gift like food and stationery she need to separate the gift items as food and stationery list to find out where to purchase the gifts from and when then only she knows where to purchase those gifts okay so let us help her use a pivot table to compare data so pivot table is used to filter the data and also to compare the data also okay it is used to filter data and to compare data so what is pivot table here what is pivot table a pivot table is used to summarize sort reorganize group count and calculate the total or average data stored in a table so pivot table is used to summarize your data or sort sort means arranging or designing the data or reorganize all these data or to group the items and count how much how many items are there and calculate the total amount or or also average okay average data stored in a table so in table 5 you can see a category like food and stationery and also the amount at last they give a total result with the amount so when you come to your table number 4 uh, okay in table number here what are the items she purchased pen pencil eraser chocolate geometry box sharpener and then orange candy so here we need to separate into food and stationery items food and stationery item so here what are the food items chocolate and orange candy and here is the amount for chocolate and orange candy so here a category like food in that contain chocolate and orange candy so it will calculate the total amount and put it in the amount box okay and put it in the amount column and the next one is stationery items what are the stationery items pen pencil eraser geometry box and sharpener and the amount of there so it will calculate the total amount and put it on here in the stationery pen pencil sharpener geometry box eraser or there so at last it will give a total result like amount it will calculate the total amount and this in this column and put it in this column okay so this is the this is to create a pivot table this is the use of the pivot table the next one is how to create a pivot table next one is how to create a pivot table this is just the procedure okay this is the method and the next how we can create a table how to create a table so here you can see number the following steps from 1 to 5 in order to create a pivot table so here uh, first step to create a pivot table is select the entire table okay first step is you need to select the entire table okay select the entire table which table means table number 4 okay you need to select the entire table which is in table 4 and the second step is click on the insert menu on the toolbar at the top of the liber office card click on the insert menu okay next step is you is to insert click on the insert menu which is on the toolbar okay this is the second step first one is select the entire table and the third one is click on the insert menu on the toolbar at the top of the liber office card and the third step is select the source from which data information will be fetched in the pivot table and click okay okay this is also same procedure like selecting the table okay select the source from which data and information will be fetched like uh, here when you come to uh, come to table 4 you need to select the item name and the amount okay you need to select the item name and the amount only item name and the amount in the third step and then click okay this is the third step okay select the source from which data and information will be fetched in the pivot table and click on okay this is the third step and the fourth step is to analyze data drag and drop the available fields in the row fields and the data fields and, cl and click on okay okay this is our four steps 
in available fields there are uh, serial number item name qu quantity price per piece amount and then category so by using this these are the these are in the available fields then you need to select what are the items you need in row fields and what are the items you need in data fields okay you need to separate it and then click ok this is our fourth step and the fifth step is a new worksheet will be created automatically with the compare and analyze data of the selected fields which is table number 5 table number 5 is created at last ok this is the procedure to create a pivot table so what is pivot table it is used to, to summarize the data or to sort the data or reorganize the data it also group the data count the data and also calculate the total or average okay so what is the procedure first you need to select the end date table which is table number four you need to select this whole table and then you need to click on the insert menu on the toolbar at the top of the LibreOffice call you need to click the insert menu okay you need to click the insert menu and the third step is select the source from which data and information will be fetched in the pivot table and click ok so here we have created like category food stationery and the total so here we need to select uh, here amount and the category so you need to select the amount and the category and the fourth step is to analyze data drag and drop the available fields into the row field and data fields and click on ok so what are the items in the available fields item name quantity price per piece amount and stage category so we need to separate into row fields and data fields we need to separate those items into row fields and data fields and at last click on ok and the fifth one is a new worksheet will be created automatically with the compared and analyzed data of the selected fields at last your table 5 will be created automatically ok this is the procedure and the next state whether the following statements are true or false we can select two columns and analyze the data in these columns using the pivot table option this is true ok because we can select two columns more than one column ok we can't able to select a single column but we can select more than two columns and analyze the data in those columns using a pivot table option when the pivot table is used on a table it automatically creates a new worksheet when when the pivot table tool, tool is used on a table it automatically creates a new worksheet no this is false ok drag and drop is the option to populate the row fields and data fields in the pivot table layout yes this is true because we need to drag and drop the items ok in the available from the available fields into the row fields and data fields it would be easy to analyze data in a pivot table without row fields and data fields this one is false ok because we need row fields and data fields to analyze the data in the pivot table once a pivot table is made new filters can be added to it uh, to it to compare data this one is true we can filter new fi we can add filter also so this one is true you cannot add more than one row field and one data field in your pivot table to analyze data this one is false you cannot add more than one row field so this one is false okay thank you